if you like the paper towel trick, let me talk to you about some of the ways that it's not so great uh, as I work on fixing my current sifter because my future sifter is a little delayed uh, and I need to make sure that I can still sift. Let's work while we talk. So the, the sifting technique that you're seeing in that video is, or not the sifting technique, sorry, the, the paper towel technique you're seeing there, um, it is pretty helpful. Uh, the problem with it is that it leaves so many of the beetles. Once the pupa are done, the beetles that don't attach to that paper towel, um, it's, it's just such a waste, right? So like it has gotten me through to this point because I haven't found a different way yet to be able to why do they make a razor blade holder that doesn't hold the razor blade in? Am I doing this wrong? Anyway, um, I've been using that paper towel trick. It wasn't mine. It, it, I found it from someone else. Uh, and I worked it into my processes. And it's nice because you get your pupa. You put your your paper towel in there and you can walk away, right? Like my process right now is I put those paper towels in whenever I collect the pupa uh, and then I will just let them sit, let those trays sit. And every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I go through and collect those beetles. And invariably what will happen is at the end, what I'm left with is a bunch of beetles that are just stubborn and won't attach to that paper towel. And it's just wasteful from the perspective of it's not worth my time right now to go through and hand pick out all those beetles. And so unfortunately they just, they kind of go in a, in the cull pile and I'm losing my estimate right now is I'm losing 25% of the beetles that hatch. And that's just crazy when I think about it. Um, but it, it does work from the perspective of like the alternative is hand picking them out. Right. And a, a, in a larger operation in a super small operation. So if you've got, you know, like a drawer system and you're raising them for some geckos, um, you could collect those pupa and then put them on like a pupa bridge, right? Like I've got a video where I talk through how to make a pupa bridge, uh, just search pupa bridge. Um, and it, you know, it, it's made out of a plastic fruit container. Uh, and what's nice about that is once they hatch, they, they crawl off and there's a small enough amount in a drawer system that a, a bridge like that works. In my case, Oh my God. Whew. I got to be more careful. I'm, I'm working and talking and I'm not paying attention. Um, in my case, I have 30 drawers right now um, that are currently, they currently have pupa and beetles in various stages. And so it's not efficient for me to, to put that on a bridge because I need a big one. And what I found is that the larger that surface, the less beetles actually climb down or, or off to the side. And so I am working on an idea with somebody on how to fix that and change it and improve it. And we're seeing some good results. I don't want to, I don't like to show things that are in like first iteration testing. Um, because I don't want people to see something and then think, oh, yeah, that's that's how I need to do it. And then go do it and it doesn't work yet. Right. And get frustrated with with mealworms and raising mealworms. And so it's not. You know, the, the common phrase I hear now is people gatekeep information. I don't feel like it's gatekeeping because, as you guys have seen from my channel here, I, I talk about everything I do. Right. Every all my processes, everything I do is talked about. And I just broke the tip off here. Uh, just the tip. Um but I'm not gatekeeping because what I'm trying isn't 
isn't proven to work yet. Like I don't have the process figured out. And so once I, once I do, I'll share it. And I'm really excited because I think it's an improvement on an idea that's out there and it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, selfishly, it's going to help me because what I'm seeing is a huge reduction. I mean, I'm down to like one to 2% uh, waste of not being able to collect beetles that have hatched. That's a huge difference because what that means is it will reduce the number of bins that I have to keep to pupate. Because right now I have to factor in that I'm going to lose a bunch of those beetles that are going to hatch. And so I have to hatch more. And so that's more pupa sifting time. It's more larva that I have to not open up for you guys to get from the website. Um, and from a business perspective, it's less product for me to have to sell, right? Uh, but the, the, just the waste of it, because beetles aren't as useful uh, unless they're laying eggs. Like... Things don't like to eat them as much. Um, I've looked at, at different things like process, uh, like drying them out and doing, it's just not feasible. And so I'm really excited about being able to um, improve this, this process. But for now, the, the paper towel method works. I mean, it's gotten me this far for, for years. Uh, that it's how I've done it. And so... I don't want to dissuade you from using it, but just know that when you start to see, um, I'm trying to think of, I've got, yeah, I've got an example. Let me run and get that example real quick. When you start to see what real, what looks like waste, I mean, it's just frustrating. Um, just know that th that's what's happening to me too. So this is a tray of beetles that is old. So I'm going to collect this and I'm going to keep it for myself, but I'm not going to sell it because these are, these are more than a week old. Uh, and that's what I sell is the week old. And so you can see all these beetles attached to the paper towel, but look at all the ones that aren't. Look at all the ones that aren't. Now, some of these have passed away, right? And there's a couple dead pupa in here, but there's just a boatload of beetles that have not attached to this paper towel. And it's not worth the time to, you know, knock them off of those paper towels, put the paper towels back in, come back 20 minutes later, do it again. Like they're just, they're not all going to get on there. And so we need a better way. Uh, and I think I found one I'm working with someone who's very smart and able to take the ideas that I have and update designs and get me samples. And so we're testing that uh, and I'm really excited about it. Um, but the paper towel method is going to work. Uh, it does work. There's waste to it. So just be mindful of that uh, and don't get too down on yourself uh, whenever you start seeing beetles that you just can't grab. Okay.